how to respectfully ask your spouse for the divorce. One, we want to just get to the point. The success of the conversation is going to depend on how you present your decision on why you want a divorce. You want to communicate your thoughts to your spouse as clear and as simple as possible. Stay concise to keep that focus on the conversation. So for this reason, you must prepare the main points of the discussion, right? And memorize them. It's gonna help you avoid sounding insecure because you don't want to look like a school kid who forgot to submit a homework assignment and be unprepared for any questions or comments that are going to come your way. So one way you can prepare for this conversation is really list out the topics that you want to address. Why do you want a divorce in the first place? Only you can answer that. Write down a little brief explanation so that you can use that to start the conversation. Perhaps you start with, I'm not happy in this marriage and I think we need to consider a possibility of divorce. And a more detailed reason, which only you know, you could add to your list. Your spouse definitely is going to need some explanation. So prepare your reasons and explanations in advance. The second part, Stay calm. What you say is one of the most important factors if you're going to be able to contribute to a peaceful resolution. Not always can it be peaceful, right? The way you say it also matters to your emotional state. You may have a lot of anger toward your spouse, but that's not going to help you achieve the desired results that you want if you're shouting and yelling. So there's a few ways to get into this emotionally neutral state. And the first is to practice that speech. The less emotional you are by giving it because you've prepared yourself. Consider consulting a coach or a therapist if you feel like you can't stay calm during this decision. In fact, that's part of my job is to help you do this correctly. It's very likely your partner is not going to feel calm when you tell them. So prepare for their emotional response as well. Don't let them frustrate you. Instead, take a deep breath, count to 10, and make sure that you're relaxed before you talk to your partner. Speak slowly and confidently and try to avoid that screaming and name calling.